Hi everyone, this is Abhinav from Phone Bunch and today we are reviewing the Huawei Honor Holly available for 699 from Flipkart comes with a 5 inch HD IPS display, 1.3 GHz quad core MediaTek processor, 1 GB of RAM running Android 4.4.2 KitKat with Huawei's Emotion UI on top. So let's go ahead and we'll have a look at the build first. On the left you can see there is absolutely nothing but the dual tone design of the phone is clearly visible. At the top you have the 3.5 audio jack, on the right you have the volume rocker as well as the power lock and unlock button. Both are very sturdy, don't wobble a little bit and offer good feedback as well. At the bottom you have the primary microphone as well as the micro USB data syncing and charging port. Moving to the back you have a very glossy back cover which does feel a little bit slimy. Then at the top you have a secondary noise cancellation microphone, a 8 megapixel primary camera with a Samsung BSI sensor. At the bottom you have the speakerphone which is flush with the surface and does get muffled when the phone is put flat on its back. Now you can see this is a very compact device for a 5 inch smartphone. Both buttons are reachable with just your thumb. If you look at the front also the bezels are quite small and I can easily reach the ends of the display with my thumb. Although you would be using two hands to use this phone in general use cases. To open the back cover you need to pry hard on the micro USB port at the bottom and then just peel off the cover. The cover in itself is quite solid. It does bend a little bit but it's not that flexible. On the inside you will be able to see two micro SIM card slots as well as a micro SD card slot which can take up to 32 gigs of storage and a 2000 mAh battery is also there. It's removable. Now the Honor Rally scored 18306 on Antutu and 7011 on Quadrant and 50.9 on Nenamark 2. Let's compare the size of the phone so you'll be able to see it's quite a bit smaller than the Asus Zenfone 5 which is a very tall device with a 5 inch display as well. Coming to the front you have a notification LED which is glowing green at the moment. It glows green, red or orange based on what you are doing. Now this is the default lock screen. You can jump to your camera as well as calls directly. You have a 5 inch HD IPS display over here but there's no protective layer and it does get smudged with fingerprints easily. There are capacitive buttons just below the display which do not light up. The display has wide viewing angles but there is a little bit of distortion in brightness when you tilt it. The contrast levels do hold good when you are in direct sunlight as well. Now auto brightness is a bit conservative but the color reproduction still remains quite good. Although it's not a very vibrant or bright display but it definitely gets the job done. It's quite sharp and the touch response is also quite good. Now this is the default dialing interface. We didn't have any major issues with call quality. The earpiece is loud. The speakerphone could have been a little louder but there is no crackling there and there is no call recording available here. You do however have Wi-Fi hotspot, Bluetooth as well as USB tethering. Now this is a 3G dual SIM phone and GPS is also available on the phone. You can set it to high accuracy to get location quickly. Now coming to the camera you have an 8 megapixel primary camera with Samsung BSI sensor. It is able to take pictures quickly however focusing is a bit slow. Now you can capture 8 megapixel images and videos can be recorded in 1080p with electronic image stabilization on. Now you can see right here the color reproduction is actually quite good. Bright vibrant colors are captured but there is a lot of noise when you focus in on the images. Again you can see these color samples. They appear natural. Here too you can see the same. Natural color reproduction throughout the images that we took. Now you can see here a lot of detail has been captured but when you zoom in you will be able to find a lot of noise in the image. Now macro shots are more or less impossible as focusing takes a long time. Again you can see a lot of noise in the images especially as light begins to dim down. Auto focusing also becomes slower with low light. On the left here you have normal on the right HDR mode and you can see the normal image actually looks far better. Now all I can conclude is the Xiaomi Redmi 1S definitely has a better camera. Now this is a 1080p video sample. Have a listen to the audio. You do have touch to focus available here. Neither the audio nor the video quality is actually that crisp. You don't get a headset with the Huawei Honor Holly. The speakerphone too is actually not that loud and it does get muffled when the phone is put flat on its back. Now if you use another headset you will be able to pause or play tracks or move to the next track by just double tapping. 
you do have FM radio available and you can record FM in stereo quality. Now this is a 1080p video sample that we are playing right now at 30 FPS and you can see it's playing flawlessly. There are no issues with frame rate, ghosting or freezing of any kind. Now we are playing a YouTube video for you. It's our review of the Asus Zenfone 5. Here too we are playing in 720p now. And there are no issues with streaming video as well. Now if we come to software, you'll be able to see a completely new launcher here. That's a Emotion UI running on top of Android 4.4 KitKat. You do have folders and all the apps are present right on the home screens, just like MIUI of Redmi 1S. There's no separate app drawer and you will notice that there is a slight hint of lag here. Now, there are several options in the launcher. You can add more home screens, switch to a different home screen as well. Just long tapping on any of the home screens brings up this menu. You can change transitions as well. You can add widgets. Just select any of the widgets you want to add. Long tap on it and drop it to any of the home screens. It's an easy launcher to use and you also have something called Simple Home which transforms everything into large tiles so they are easily accessible. So it would be useful for your grandparents or even your parents if they just want to use a smartphone as it is without any bells and whistles. You can switch to the standard home directly from within that interface as well. Now there are some changes Huawei has made to the navigation buttons as well. I'll just show that to you. Double tapping on the home button opens up recent apps list. You can simply swipe them away and the capacitor button on the far right behaves as the menu key. So that's just about it. Coming to the notification shade, you won't see any new option. The default stock Android options and even in settings only the icons have been changed. No major changes other than that. And it's running Android 4.4.2 KitKat right out of the box. Now if I just change the launcher of the device to the Google Now launcher, which is available in the Play Store, you won't find any major difference between the Huawei Honor Holly or any phone running stock Android. You'll only notice some of the icons that have been changed and that's just about it. If we come to storage, you'll see that we have a 32 gig SD card already inserted. Now this phone has a 16 gig ROM out of which 13 GB is available to the user to install apps and games. Moreover, app as well as app data is movable to the external storage. Now I have a USB OTG pen drive right here. I'll insert that. And you can see it's actually not been detected. Now getting into settings in storage also you'll see it's not been mounted. So USB OTG is not supported. Now out of the 1 gig RAM you have about 350 to 450 MB. That's free at any given time. Coming to security in screen lock you do have pattern pin password available. Apart from voice unlock there's no face unlock available here. You have Android device manager as a device administrator to find your device in case it gets lost. Other than that it's a very stock experience apart from the icons as well as the launcher that has been changed here. Now you also get a new keyboard here. It doesn't have the gesture typing that is available in the default Google keyboard but it does have this T9 sort of input which you found on feature phones of your. Now let's open up phonebench.com. Our mobile website is loaded up and you can see that there is no issue with scrolling. In fact scrolling is quite fast and fluid. Now full website is also loaded up and here too you can see no issues with scrolling. Pinch to zoom is very fast and fluid and text looks crisp on the display. Rendering is also quite fast here. Even in terms of general performance you won't find much lag in the device apart from the launcher which does begin to bog down after a bit of usage. Gaming was also more or less smooth on the Huawei Honor Holly. Some of the high end games definitely saw a bit of drop in frame rate and a bit of lag as well. But in general, this device performs adequately given the particular price point it's been launched at. Now wrapping everything up, the Huawei Honor Holly does have a very decent display. A 720p display at this price point is not available. Apart from the Redmi 1S, it has decent build quality. It's not that bulky. It's quite compact given that it houses a 5 inch display. But I don't like that glossy back cover. It does make the phone feel a little bit slimy. It has got decent cameras, good enough performance, some minor UI tweaks to stock Android which can be changed by just installing a new launcher. A very manageable size even if you want to use this device in one hand. All for just rupees 699. The Huawei Honor Holly doesn't have any spectacular features making it stand out of the crowd of Android smartphones. But its price to performance ratio definitely gives it 
a leg up in the race. Don't forget to subscribe for more such videos. Also do like and share. We'll be back with more till then you can watch our unboxing of the Huawei Honor Holly as well as the full review of the Xiaomi Redmi 1S. Thanks for watching. Any questions hit us in the comment section and have a great day.